Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. Let's solve lead code problem number triple one, minimum depth of a binary tree. In this problem, we are given a binary tree and we have to find the minimum depth. So what is depth? For example, these are the three leaf nodes of the binary tree. What is the leaf node? It doesn't have both the left child and the right child. So the depth from this to this is the total number of nodes along this path. So it is two in this case. And what is the depth from this to this? How many nodes are there? It is one, two and three. So the depth along this path equals three. And similarly here also see three. So in definition, the depth is the distance between the root node and the leaf node. In this question, we have to find the minimum distance. Now out of all the three, we, the minimum distance is two. So that will be our answer. Let's take one more example. This is a right skewed binary tree where all the nodes are on the right. So what is the depth of the binary tree here? The depth is five, not one in this case. Why? Because it is the distance between the root node and the leaf node. So here, though we have null value, we can't consider this because there is no leaf node here. So the answer in this case will be equal to five. Now we have two options. One is we can either use breadth force search or we can use depth force search. Let me explain what is BFS and DFS with respect to this example. Let's first go with DFS, okay? We start from this node and we go until the depth point. That is, we go to 20, then we go to 15 and we realize that the depth is three. The next, again, we go to 20, we go to seven and we realize that the depth is three. Finally, we go to two and we real go to nine and realize the depth is two. If you look here, we traversed all the nodes, right? Let's look at the next approach. That is the BFS approach. How do we go about in the BFS approach? So what happens in breadth force search approach is we'll go to the left node and the right node first. We go to the left node and we go to the right node first. And we realize that the left node ha doesn't have any children. And we return the answer here itself. Why? Because it doesn't have any children. So why do we why do I go on to further and iterate over 15 and 7? There is no need. So I, am, I will be returning the answer at this point itself. And this is more prominent if there is much more depth, if the tree is much more depth and the depth is ending here. So in this problem, BFS clearly wins over DFS. So we'll be using BFS algorithm for this particular problem instead of DFS because DFS will be going through all the nodes to find the answer. So now let's get into the pseudo code. This is a template or blueprint for BFS code. What do we do? We first have a queue. We have a queue data structure and we add the root node. For example, in this case, we will be adding three. Once we have added three to the queue, we will mark our depth equals to one. Now what we'll be doing, this is one little modification in this template. Instead of just going over the queue, we take the size of the queue at this point. What is the size of the queue? That it is just one. Once we have taken the size of the queue, we will go through all of those elements and we will add the left child and the right child. So what are the left and the right child? It is 20 and 9. So we will be removing 3 and we will be adding 20 and 9. Now, after we did this, what we will be doing is we will be increasing the depth by 1. Now when we come to 20 and when we come to 9, so we will be removing 20 first. But there is one addition case here. What we will be doing here is we will be checking if the node is equal to null, we will continue. Why? Because we saw that in the right skewed binary tree, right? So if node is equal to null, we will be continuing. We will not be returning the answer. Then if and only if the left node and the right node equals null, for example, for this node 9, both the left node and the right node will be null and our depth at that point will be equal to 2. So we will be returning the answer of 2 in that case. Finally, if this loop is completed, that is we have null, that is q is equal to null, this will fail in this case only and we will be returning 0. So that is one corner case that you have to keep in mind. There are very similar problems. If you found this approach very easy, there are very similar problems that will actually hit your brain. So you can start from this problem if you are already very familiar with BFS algorithm. So you can start from this problem and the difficulty goes on till the hard level. And we have a telegram 
telegram group which is dedicated to discuss this problem and if you have any doubts you can just check in the telegram group and i have mentioned the link in the description let's dive into the coding part the coding part is similar to the pseudo code what we are doing is we are initiating a queue we are adding the root the depth and the size this size is one part that we are keeping extra and what we will be doing is here is we'll be iterating over all the elements at that particular level for example if there are four elements in this level we will be iterating over all the four of them before we go to the next level before we increase depth we'll be going through all of them so that is the idea what we are doing here and we'll be checking if both the left and right are null we'll be directly returning the answer and we'll be adding the left road and right road to the queue thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe